Howdy guys, it's Luke at Geek Gaming Scenics and in this video we're going to be reviewing the M4 Premium from Anycubic but we're also going to be talking about why I think now is the time to get into 3D printing if you're on the fence. I'll catch you after this. This video is sponsored by Anycubic. So guys, a quick overview slash review of the printer. Um, a while back, Anycubic sent me out the M4, which is a smaller 4K sort of entry level 4K printer. And you've seen me use that on videos like the mini 40K video that I did. And it's an exceptional printer for the money to the point where Josh actually took that printer home and has been using it to print things so he can be working on things while I'm working on things as well. And I'm very happy with the quality, but if you want that little bit extra and you want that bit of extra detail, 8K is the way to go. The market's now got quite a few 8K printers, but this one is offering a lot for the money. This printer is built like an absolute tank. Um, it's huge. It weighs an absolute ton, which is a good thing because it means you're not going to get any wobble on your desk and things like that. But what I like about this printer is the light technology in here. It's a 10 inch print bed. If you're printing a full bed of models, it just means that the accuracy of the light is as good in the corners as it is in the middle. We all load the build plates up, but this is now becoming pretty standard, okay? But the fact that we're getting it in a, a printer that's this affordable and it's offering 8K on a large build plate, it means you can have exceptional models no matter how many you print at once. And that's the benefit to LCD, LCD over like PLP, for example. Now, what I'm liking about printers is it's got to a point where, like a car, 20 years ago, you'd have to pay for all these optional extras and now they're pretty much standard. Printers are coming with absolutely everything now. We've got dual linear rails. We've got uh, a really big Z-Rod in this, which is bigger than my large format printers. Um, the build plate on this is solid. Um, I've not had any warping issues. I've not had anything with the build plate. I just leveled it by blowing it down and tying it up. I didn't even put any pressure on the build plate while I was lining this up. And since doing that, I've not had to redo it. Um, just the quality of the build and how heavy it all is, it just seems to work very simply. We have got some um, air filters in this or purifiers, whatever you want to call them. Now, I don't usually notice much. I do have a head sense of a smell in the room, but what I can confirm is with these in the printer while it's working, they're very quiet and that little bit of odor you sometimes get in the room, it's, it's now next to none. So if I'm just running this machine and it's got them filters on, it's pretty much smell free, okay? As far as like fumes and things, I. I've got no way of monitoring that, but as far as the smells and things that do put people off, if you're running it with them on, it does negate that smell, um, which is which is nice, especially if you're sensitive to smells. The printer and how it all works, it's pretty much standard like any other 3D printer that I've ever covered. Uh, the user interface and everything on it is very simple, it's very easy to use, and it's a, a very good solid printer. And the reason I'm saying if you're on the fence about 3D printing, the companies that are making 3D printers now, they've all at like a level where you're getting everything for the best possible price. And I don't like saying printing's plug and play, but I think it's now at a point where it's as simple as it can be. And the reason for that is bed leveling's pretty simple. You just put it down, loosen the bolts, tighten them up, pull paper out, make sure it's even. And all your resin settings and everything else like that, you can download from the manufacturers or you can use things like Lychee, where people have actually got the best settings and they've uploaded them for you to download and try, okay? So you don't even have to learn about how things work yourself. You can just download a profile and check the models out and see if they're printing well yourself. I've just used what Anycubic sent over. The only settings that I changed when I printed out some models was I dropped the layer height from uh, five micron to three micron, and I dropped the exposure by 0.2 of a second, um, just to negate that difference in layer height. That's all I did. And the models that have come off are pretty special. So let's show you them. 
Now, the models that I've printed, I've chose this company for multiple reasons. If you're on the fence about 3D printing, once you've bought your printer, you've got yourself some gloves, some towels, you've sorted some methylated spirits or ISO to clean in, maybe a UV cure station or you've built your own, buying STL then does seem quite expensive. The reason I've chose which song as a, something that's good to get into is their gold membership on Tribes is only $3. That gets you some amazing models, it gets you bus, it gets you everything for just three pounds. Even free models on, on months where you can download and try it and make sure that you're happy with what they offer. But I can confirm that their supports are unreal, okay? They're just the easiest to remove, they're well supported and the model quality, like the sculpting and everything, is lovely. And if you're just buying a 3D printer to paint different things, they're the perfect company for that, or if you play D&D and things. Now this um, Faceless King model, um, it's a nice big model with loads of good details. And as you can see, the 8Ks captured that absolutely lovely. There's barely any visible layer lines and that's without any tweak, that's with zero image blur uh, and all the anti-aliasing, it's all turned off um, and it's printing to a very, very good level. And on the bust, you can see that even under this macro, which is more than your human eye can possibly see, um, it's just exceptionally sharp and good quality. And this is why I like Witch Song. They're offering good quality models, but they're also offering it at a very affordable rate. So if you are new to printing, they're offering models that are very easy to print. You literally just drag them on the build plate and press print. And you can really sort your printer out to get the qualities that you want. And uh, with the resin profiles and stuff you can download, it couldn't be any simpler. Now, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are wanting to get into 3D printing for the small scale stuff. So I printed some stuff out from Forest Dragon. Uh, Forest Dragon do a 10 mil range to sort of add to your War Master and stuff like that. And on the bigger printers, with that resolution reduction usually because of the bigger size, printing at 10 mils normally when printers start to show where they're suffering. This printer don't at all. It's printing down at 10 mil at 0.3 layer height and they're razor sharp. And that's, I printed one model in the middle and I printed the other models on the edges just to show that the quality is there. And all this in a package that's around 600 quid and there's, there's discounts and stuff all below. Um, so if you are interested in any cubic printer, there's discount links below. I don't get any kickback or anything from it, but any cubic I've got an offer on at the moment. And if you buy things from their range using that link, you get some further discounts. And for me, any cubic, I've had quite a few of their printers and I've never really done a review for any cubic because the printers have been all right, but they've never been anything to blow my head off. They've always just been, yep, yeah, it's a decent printer. But now any Cubic with this M3 lineup, even their entry-level printer is astounding. Josh printed off uh, some models for the last video, um, which are these Lion models from Witch Song. And he printed that on an entry-level 4K printer with the box settings, nothing done. It's how I left it from after printing the small-scale stuff. And they've come off lovely. Now, there is a quality difference. Like, it's very, very, very minor. And I think if you're into gaming more than miniature painting and more into thing the 4k is more than good enough i think the only time the 8k will really benefit you is if you're one of these people that likes painting busts or you're like a high-end painter and you're really finicky about the finish of the model the 4k models that are coming off are as good as or quite a lot of the shop bought models and there's very little to no layer lines and that's without any sort of image blur or anti-aliasing switched on so if you have got are thinking about getting the 4k with a little bit of playing with anti-aliasing you could remove that but i don't like to if i'm doing a review i want to show you it with it all turned off so you can see how it's doing straight out the box and any cubic i'm very happy with these the M3 line of printers that you're doing. Um, this more or less plug and play. I don't like saying that, but for me, and if you're thinking about getting into 3D printing, 
we're now at a point where I feel that printers are about as easy as they're going to get. If you'd like to support the channel, guys, don't forget to check all the links below where you can buy my Scenics, support it, there's Patreon, there's all that as well. All the small scale wargaming stuff's coming. I'm currently editing about three videos. Um, so this month, we're going to be uh, getting all the videos out for you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll uh, catch you for the next one. Love, love, love.